Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novel Witty Corner and welcome back to my 2018 series on books that I absolutely loved and this is my favourite covers for books that I read in 2018. I'm just going to whip through these books. I will give a couple of reasons why I liked each cover. I'm not going to go into synopsises of stories. I'm just purely looking at aesthetics of books because why not? The first book is The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily X. R. Pan and I just I adore this cover. It has beautiful colours on it. The style is just gorgeous and every time I look at it I want to just look more closely at it to see all of the details. So it's just one of my favourites. White Knight by Ellie Marnie. I just love the effect of the lighting. I just think it's incredible. I just think it stands out on the black so beautifully. Sometimes simple is good. Keeping with Ellie Marnie's books, the Circus Hearts trilogies covers are just incredible. And I love that the design is basically the same. We just changed colors and a few little details and all these books match and just look gorgeous. The UK hardcover edition of Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I loved Caraval's cover. I love this one. This one, instead of being black, white and gold, is blue, white and silver, which I just think is gorgeous. But I also appreciate the detail that goes into the designs on the hardcover underneath as well. I'm curious to know the colours that Finale is going to have on it. I'm wondering if they're going to go copper or maybe rose gold or something like that, which would be really cool. The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. I just love the simplicity of this cover, the silhouette of the girl in the centre, the colours coming off it and the shiny silver. I just think it's very simple, very aesthetically pleasing. It really stands out when you show someone. Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. At first, when I found out that the book was going to sort of be an orangey red color, I was really concerned because I am not the biggest fan of that color, but it just looks so beautiful in person and the silver on it just is gorgeous. The Pharmacist's Wife by Vanessa Tate. This was a book that I requested for review based on the cover because this cover is just wonderful. I love all the old style illustrations and the simple colour choices. Similarly, The Witch Who Caught a Death, I love the blue, I love the silhouettes against the moon. It just feels very sort of magical, which is great because this book is about witches and witchcraft and paranormal people and I just, I enjoyed it. Defy the Worlds by Claudia Gray. Now this is a series that had a cover change after book one and I have yet to pick up the new cover because the new cover is I think even nicer than this one. And I liked the first book's cover, I really did. But I think these new covers are just gorgeous. I just love the space theme and then the little silhouettes down the bottom. The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. This is a Little Mermaid retelling and I just think this cover, there is so much detail in it. It's just beautiful. There's another silhouette. I love Record of a Spaceborn Few. This cover just adequately sums up the story and Becky Chambers has had wonderful covers for all of her books and I love how they all match and I love the galaxy. Galaxies are a thing for me. Circe by Madeline Miller is very over the top, but it is just so intricate and gorgeous and shiny that I can't help but love this book cover. And the last three books are all part of the same series, and that is The Themis Files by Sylvain Nouvelle. I just love the simplicity of these covers with the faces hiding within these starscapes. Although I think book one is my absolute favorite. So those are my favorite covers for books that I read in 2018. In the comments, let me know what are your favorite covers of books that you read this year or even books that came out in 2018. I'd love to hear. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.